In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to lock a folder or in other words how to password protect or encrypt a folder so only you have access to it and we're going to be using a tool today which can be found at the website lockmyfolder.com and this link is also directly under the video in the description box if you click on it it'll take you to this page and you can download a free trial of it by clicking this green button you are limited though to how many days you can use it and also some of the features are restricted with the trial version so if you want the full version it is $39.95 now I, I, I like to password protect a lot of my folders and files on my computer because I have a business um, and so I like to make sure those are secure so I obviously went ahead and purchased it and got the full version and so here is what the software looks like and you can see here this is a registered copy and the folder that I'm going to show you a demonstration of um, I made one here called it super secret stuff and in it you're going to see there's four documents there's an image an Excel file a text file and a word document and basically the only thing you have to do is either drop and drag your folder or even a file it'll password protect files just as much as it will folders um, over here anywhere in this area or you can choose to click one of these buttons the encrypt file encrypt folder or you can right click on the file or folder and it'll give you the option to encrypt it and so I'm just going to drop and drag it and it's going to ask me what I want to use for a password I'm just going to use something easy and then it's asking me for the strength there's normal high and highest I always choose mine highest this is like a military grade in encryption uh, just to ensure that nobody gets access to it this option is not available in the trial so if you want to make sure that it is highly encrypted you will have to buy the software and then there's the option for local and hidden and local means that the folder will still be visible if I click hidden uh, the folder will disappear from my desktop and will not be seen the only place it will be seen is here within the software where I have access to view it now the software itself can also be password protected so nobody can open it up and see what files or folders you have encrypted as well so we're just going to keep it on local and choose encrypt and it moved it for some reason after I encrypted it always moves it but you can see here now the folder has a lock icon on it so if I try to access it it's going to tell me it needs a password so I'm going to enter it and then I get to choose a mode for browse which automatically re-encrypts the folder when I close it um, temporary which gives me the option to password protect it or leave it open or completely remove the password protection that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to choose decrypt and you can see here there is no lock icon now and even though it's still showing up here it's not all I have to do is go down here and click the refresh button and you can see that it's been gone and so what we can also do is inside this folder you can see that I have uh, a few files in here and let's just I'm gonna right click on this image and for some reason it's taken a while okay and then it gives me the option here where I can encrypt also just the file itself or even shred the file you got the option here to shred files permanently so really can't be recovered but if I choose encrypt it's going to ask me for a password to encrypt the image and this time I'm going to choose hidden and encrypt it and you're going to see that the image is no longer over here so it completely hid that document from being viewed and even though it's not showing over here yet I just come down here and click the refresh button and you'll see now it has been added into the software and so the only place this file now is visible is within the software itself and like I said you can also password protect the software so only you can open it and see what files are in here and that's done within the settings here in the security where you can choose run the application with a password and then choose your password and really that's all there is to it it's super easy to use and to decrypt it you can just right click decrypt and it's it's restored and there's the image back again and so that's how easy it is to use um, there's also the option to protect complete drives so if you want to um, if you select one of these drives here and password protect it not only is it going to lock it also but it's going to hide it and so you can do that with full drives and you can do this with USB drives you can do it with flash drives external hard drives uh, like I said any type of file or folder drop it drag it and and you can easily lock it so 
this is a really really great tool and like I said you can find it here at lockmyfolder.com um, and the link is under this video in the description box